Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're gonna calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Lily Larson claims she agreed to be part of a documentary, but by the end, it was more like a reality show. Iris Lucy says Ms. Larson's behavior was always over the top and only has herself to blame for how she was portrayed. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. Please be seated. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Larson versus Lucy. Ms. Larson, you are suing Ms. Lucy for $6,500 for defamation and underpayment. Correct, Your Honor. All right, tell the court what happened. I originally got into a contract with Miss Iris Lucy here on the pretenses that it would be shooting a water fasting documentary that would show all aspects of one's emotions. When the documentary came out, it alluded to me being a negative person in an evil light. All right, so a water fasting documentary. Mm -hmm. How long were you supposed to fast? 30 days, Your Honor. All right, so 30 days of fasting on water only? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Lucy was the producer or the head of the production company? Correct, Your Honor. She was the writer and the producer. All right, and so the purpose of the documentary, Ms. Lucy, was to show what, weight loss, clarity, uh, mental clarity? What were you showing? What was the purpose of the documentary? Well, water fasting has become sort of a health trend as of late, so I wanted to get on the on the ground floor with portraying what all of the benefits that you can get from water fasting. Some of those are health benefits. Some of those are fighting disease benefits. Some of those are increased skin clarity benefits. And some of them are mental clarity benefits. OK, how many people were in this documentary? 12 in total. All right. And they were supposed to be, what, in a house? You, you. That's correct. My budget allowed for us to rent a house in Malibu, a beautiful house in Malibu, to shoot. Your Honor, may I interject here? Yes, please. Um, that Malibu house was not luxury by far. It uh, wasn't? No. We lived with the crew, Your Honor. And the entire time, her and her crew were taunting us. They had food in the refrigerator. So you lived with the crew, mm -hmm. well, presumably so they could capture you at all times of night, right? So what, there were cameras there mm -hmm. and the house. But you're saying they were eating in front of you. You didn't send the crew to like a, a trailer or somewhere else to eat? No, I didn't find that necessary, nor did we have the space. We had a limited budget. The house that I rented in Malibu is what we could afford. Uh, and part of the experiment, if you will, was to see how our participants responded. What, oh, so part of it was not just about what drinking water would do, but it was also kind of how do you resist the temptation to eat, smelling food? You were doing that as another layer. Behavioral reactions, yes, Your Honor. Another layer of this documentary. That's how correct. they react. To test their level of commitment. I mean, Miss Larson came to me as a struggling actress, and she clearly thought that she was going to be the star of my documentary. I provided her an opportunity to get some recognition, to accept this challenge. She wanted to lose some weight. She'd complained about having gained weight over the pandemic. So I provided her this opportunity. Now she wants to sue me because she doesn't like the way that she was re represented in my documentary. So I want to ask you this, Ms. Larson, and I'm going to give you a chance to continue your testimony. Why did you take on this project? I took on this project because during the pandemic, like many people, but me personally, I gained 55 pounds. I was at 188 pounds. I contacted a friend. They connected me with Iris Lucy here. Um, I knew that she was a well-known documentary writer and producer. I had the opportunity to be one of the 12 participants, and originally I was excited because it gave me an opportunity to clear my state of mind, to be in better health. but. It was just not that. So this wasn't about the acting for you? No. Do Your you Honor. want to be an actress? Yes, Your Honor. So this wasn't about acting? This was about 
bringing a lens to something that's new, the water fasting for 30 days and also giving me clarity. I mean, you can just be honest if you wanted to be on camera because there's okay. a lot of other ways to get clarity, but lose weight. That's true, Your Honor. And Your Honor. But without, without, being, without being documented on camera. Your Honor, but this was not a reality show. And when it was edited, it seemed just like that. This is a documentary. She showed bits and pieces of me and not the entirety of me. And if you're going to try to educate people on water fasting, wouldn't you do that showing the good, the bad, and the ugly, Your Honor? Coming up. She showed not the happy, peaceful moments that I experienced in the beginning at the start of the first half of the 30 days. She showed me crying all day. She showed me bickering with the other participants, throwing barbecue uh, grills in the water. And later. I was actually trying to give her, you know, cash app it, but because she went shopping and she wanted to be all cute for Miami, um, she was overdrawn. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with a dispute between Lily Larson and documentarian Iris Lucy over defamation and underpayment. Well, did you show the good and bad and the ugly, Miss Lucy? Yes, I believe I did. I so gave let me up. ask you this, Miss Larson, before I head over there. I want to know from you, Miss Larson, what is it about the way you were portrayed that bothers you so much? I mean, let me just think about not eating anything for 30 days. <laughs> I might cut a rug. You know what I'm saying, Sean? You I mean, me you might get some real ugly moments when I'm hungry, hangry. I mean, that's a tough fast. So what is it that you don't like? She showed not the happy, peaceful moments that I experienced in the beginning at the start of the first half of the 30 days. She showed me crying all day. She showed me bickering with the other participants, throwing barbecue uh, grills in the water because her crew was taunting me. And I expressed my concerns to Miss Lucy here, but she did not address them. Oh, so you turned all the way up. Yes. Okay, so, so, <laughs> all right. Um, so, Miss Lucy, I want to understand from you, you are a documentary producer. Correct. You've told the court what it is your desire was to show. Why is it you did not capture a holistic view of Miss Larson, or do you feel like you did? I feel like I did. And I will say, Your Honor, since day one, Miss Larson, as soon as the camera was turned on, she was dramatic. She was already picking fights with the other participants. The first day, she would have crying spells. It was clear she wanted to be in front of the camera. So it wasn't that I just happened to film her bad moments. They were all pretty bad moments to begin with. Mm. And you have people in there eating food every day. Yes, as they were explained, as the participants were explained from the get-go. Of course the crew was going to eat. Of course I was going to eat. But, but you didn't have to eat in their faces. It was a small space, Your Honor. In Malibu, Your Honor. This is the mansion that she described earlier. If you're in Malibu, there's a lot of places to take your food. Well, for that Outside, matter, she could have taken her food. She could have taken her food if she was so tempted. She didn't have tempted. any food. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, that's correct. She could have taken herself away from the food. How can I? If it bothered you. Instead, she chose to push the grill, which was cooking meat at the time, into the pool. All right. So talk to your crew. About let, that. let me be clear. Why do you feel like she owes you more money? Because they were eating food in front of you? What, what is the no. basis of this claim? Why does she owe you $6,500 more? She exhibited me in a light that was not betrothed of who I am today. But she cannot edit any pieces of the video. And this is, and, and I'm glad you're here because this is important to understand in the world of documentaries and docu-series and reality TV and all of these things it is clear that people cannot edit you in a light mm. that you don't provide right mm. if you don't provide them with the footage Amen. the actions they don't have anything to work with your honor can I just uh, say one more uh, thing is because I was not the only participant um, that exuded negative um, actions um, in that mansion. There were other participants who were going crazy just as much as I was, Your Honor, and yet not one moment were they shown in any other light but happy, joyful, and enjoying the experience. It was just me, Your Honor, and if I'm quote unquote the star, 
of the show, then why am I not paid a star wage? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you can't. She popped on out, didn't she? I think she it's did. Uh, what's right is right. So we, I thought you entered this for weight loss and clarity from the pandemic. You a star of the show well, now? Well, she, Miss Lucy here told me I was a star of the show. I did it because it's a documentary and not a reality show. Listen. Then why did you act like a reality star, throwing grills in the pool and whatnot? And why did your crew act wrong? Just wrong. My crew acted like a crew. Well. I'll say this, Ms. Larson, mm -hmm. there is absolutely nothing wrong with your dream of being an actress. Thank you, Your Honor. You can't tell me that you didn't see a camera rolling and turn it up a notch <laughs> to make sure that you were getting a lot of attention on that camera. Mm -hmm. Because that's what people who want to be actresses do. Yeah. And you're not going to convince me mm -hmm. that that was not at least part of your motivation for doing this. <laughs> it, it was probably 10% of 15, 20% of the motivation that I 95. had to do you this. You are an actress, but, but a terrible mathematician. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because that was not 15 to 20% of your motivation. It was not. You got the attention. It wasn't what you wanted. But you were not defamed and you are not owed another $6,500. With that said, judgment for the defendant. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. You're a slithering slick and I'll never work with you ever again. Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. I gave you the 15 minutes of it's fame. It's about halfway over, Why do you so think enjoy. Why do you think your documentary is popular now? It's because of me. Because of my filmmaking ability. Your filmmaking ability is trash. Coming up. All right, right. So then what happened? So I told her, I said, okay, well, hey, how about your girlfriends? She's like, oh no, mom, you know, they're, you know, at the beach. I need this reservation or whatever was going on at the time. So can you just send it to the boyfriend? And I had reservations about it. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Aaron and Patricia Banner claim they loaned their daughter money when her account was overdrawn, but she never paid them back. Jen Banner says she shouldn't have to pay back money she didn't get to use. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Banner versus Banner. Ms. Banner, you are suing your daughter for $1,500 for failure to repay a loan. Is that correct? That is correct, ma'am. And Ms. Banner, you say you never received the money. That is correct. All right, I want to start with you, Mom. You're suing your daughter today. Right. All right, tell the court why. Well, it all started with her having a, you know, birthday party. Turning 21 is a huge deal. So what ended up happening was she, um, it was her, her girlfriend, her boyfriend at the time, they flew over to Miami. She swore, oh, you know, mom, don't worry, everything's taken care of. Um, the dinner, the hotel, and, and things. Where were you going, Miss Banner? Where, what, tell me about your trip for your 21st birthday. We get to the Airbnb and we couldn't get it because we weren't 25. So me and my friends ended up getting a hotel. It was $1,000, so we ended up paying for that. Now dinner time comes and I asked my mom, because everything had happened, I asked my mom if she could lend me $1,500. I had overdrafted yeah. my account because of all the extra necessities I had to pay for. So hold on now, you arrived there with, with what you think was enough money? Yes, but because that Airbnb had flopped, I ended up having to come out the pocket. Understood, so you call your mother? Yes. Tell me about that conversation. I called my mother asking her if I can get an extra $1,500. She said, at the end, she did say yes. So what do you do? Cash app or whatever that stuff yeah. is called? And Zell. that's what happened. I was actually trying to give her, you know, cash app it. But because she went shopping and she wanted to be all cute for Miami, mm -hmm. spending all her money, um, she was overdrawn. She, her bank account was overdrawn. Exactly. So she wouldn't get the full amount if I'd done that. Got it. Oh, and even if you cash app it and it deposited in her account, it would still be overdrawn and then she wouldn't have the money. Coming up. Why is it that you stand in court today and say you didn't get the money so you don't owe her anything? Because I didn't get to use it. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. 
We're back with the case of Aaron and Patricia Banner, who brought their daughter Jen Banner to court over money loaned for a birthday trip. I told her, I said, okay, well, hey, how about your girlfriends? She's like, oh no, mom, you know, they're, you know, at the beach. I need this reservation or whatever was going on at the time. So can you just send it to the boyfriend? And I had reservations about it. I asked her, she said, send it to him. Well, the only reason why she sent it to him is because his car was already on file. We ate at Poppy Steakhouse, so that's what the reservation was under. It was under his name. His oh, car, all it was right. His so car. you, okay. So she sent the money to the boyfriend. You're at the restaurant, mm -hmm. and you felt like, okay, he has it. We're all going to eat together anyway. Yeah, we, I'll get it from mm -hmm. him. You were saying in your petition, in the court intro, that you never got the money. How right. is that? I never got it. We got the bill, and the card declined. My boyfriend's card declined. He didn't have enough funds in there to cover yes. his expenses either. Right. And so once you realized that, he had to come clean because the card declined at the restaurant? Yeah, and he ended up telling me that he did a little, went a little overboard shopping and bought all these shoes, so it was, it was a mess. I was embarrassed. Oh, and then by the time your mother's money came through, he was overdrawn. Yes. So you and your boyfriend don't have your money together. Now you got your mom sending money to him. His account is overdrawn. Mm -hmm. And so why is it then? I, I hope you all figured out how to get that bill paid. Yes, I ended up texting my dad. What? <laughs> I ended up texting she my dad. She called you dad? Yes, yes, she called me. And then what happened? He paid the bill. He sent you more money? Yes. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. You did ask your mother for a loan, am I correct? Yes. And so she said yes and she sent the money. Yes. Why is it that you stand in court today and say you didn't get the money so you don't owe her anything? Because. I didn't get to use it. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Do you understand that that's not how <laughs> loans work? Yes. And I think we're in court today because your mother is ready for you to hit rock bottom and she's ready for you to, to fall a little bit so you learn how to get back up. Because if she doesn't teach you these things and you running around town in your 30s and 40s and 50s and can't keep a bank account and borrow money from folks and banks and don't pay it back, you're gonna be in a world of trouble. You got the $1,500 because she sent it exactly where she told you. You're still responsible for that. Judgment for the plaintiff for $1,500. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant owes $1,500. That can you let me borrow $1,500? Are you serious? It's the last time, I no, promise. No, 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 that was my last time. Thank was, you, thank you, honey. Yeah. Seriously, any lesson learned for you? Wow. Um, responsibility. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.